Pull up in motor cash. I got a show today. What's up, guys? This is Brian. This is the Till You Collapse podcast, and we're back once a week. Every week on Monday, you can count on us coming at you with some fire. I'm here with my man, D Money. D Money in the house, reporting again. How are you guys doing today? Tony, how are you doing? I'm doing great. You good? Yeah, I'm doing really good. You had good. a good weekend? Another good weekend. I heard, you, about, heard you had a gangster party. Uh, <laughs> you know, we had, some, we had some fun, yeah. Damn, where was my invite? You don't want this big-ass Persian coming. I'll start breaking everything in your spot. <laughs> don't give me Frank the Tank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday, guys. Hopefully, you guys like listening to the podcast. We've been getting really good feedback with the consistency. If anything, we're going to add a day and add a different type of show, but we're here trying to do this for you guys because, like I said, we're always trying to add value to your life. And if you get something from this podcast, we always appreciate Please share it. Subscribe. Leave a review if you can. Share it. I'll repost you. Appreciate the love, and I'm just trying to help you level up and win because when I actually say I do want you guys all to win, that's real. So if I can give you some shit that helps you win, you're welcome. <laughs> That's the goal, honestly. Mm-hmm. So, man, you had a good weekend. You've been Let's killing see. it. Yeah, but you guys see Donnie's content. He's been killing it. Um, man, uh, what I want to talk about, though, first thing I want to talk about is you guys have been asking. You guys see me posting this company I'm kind of a part of, um, this mushroom company. And I just want to talk about it real quick. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'll let you guys research it yourself. But, you know, I've, you know, I've smoked before, CBD, weed, all that kind of shit. I really don't do much of that anymore. Um, the mushrooms is something I've been, uh, what's the word? Fuck. Experimenting? Yes. Yeah. Experimenting with. The last three months, mm-hmm. I've been taking basically every day, microdose, microdosing mushroom, basically. Mm-hmm. So Google, benefits of microdosing mushrooms. Um, it's something that you know a lot of high-level people actually introduced me to. Something I really was didn't know about, um, and I looked into it, did my research on it, and now actually doing it myself. I can say there's nothing really. It's almost part of my daily. I have a daily uh, vitamin, mineral supplements, everything I take every day as far as health. I almost classify it in with that because what it does for me mentally, um, it's just amazing. Focus, creativity, clarity, uh, pain relief. Um, sense of well-being, fights depression. So huge list of benefits, no really negatives, but there's people who really just aren't educated on it. So check it out. You see me posting, you see me asking. Some of you guys do know, but those of you that don't, that's what I'm posting when I post those little microchips. Um, and it's really benefiting me big time. And I'll get deeper into it on another podcast, but I just want to let you guys know because I, I get a lot of questions about it. So, you know, the mushrooms are good. <laughs> I'm not taking them. I'm not tripping out every day in here and doing weird shit. Um, but just a little bit for the benefit. Um, so that's the answer to those questions for those of you that are asking on a big, bigger scale. Now, what I want to talk about today is I want to talk about, you know, creating the life you want and creating yourself, creating yourself into the type of person you want to be. So you guys see the new kind of content I've been doing typically since Donnie's got here and I've been growing on a new platform, TikTok. Okay. Instagram sucks. Not only does my Instagram suck because... I've been banned because all the shit I talk about, you mean is standing up for our freedoms and what I believe in. They don't like that. So my profile is already fucked because of that. On top of that, the platform just kind of a dying platform. They're trying to monetize it. I said that a long time ago. They want money for your own followers to see your shit. So nobody sees anything. But TikTok, and I'm late to TikTok. I mean, I wish I would have done I wish I would have done this to Donnie a year or two ago. I would have been at a couple million followers. But TikTok is still a platform that is crazy with the amount of engagement you get, the amount of everything. Mm-hmm. Like you post something and it goes viral, like 50,000, 10,000 views, um, 800,000 views. And, and it happens when it, they show it to new people. You know what I mean? So it's a, it's a platform out there that you can still grow on. You can still reach a new audience. And I'm here to tell you the audience is definitely different, but there's, isn't there like, Billions of people. I mean, how many people use TikTok? It's crazy. Like, it, you want to look it up real yeah. quick? Let's look this. He's going to look it up. When we're talking, but I think it's it's one of the most engaged platforms. And I know the excuse that everyone uses is it's a different audience. It's not my demographic. It's 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 you know no, that's not the case, man. You can find your demographic. That's a fucking excuse. Mm-hmm. And we're going to talk about excuses a little bit today as well. But that's an excuse of why you don't want to make content for. A, Another platform, you're hardly making pla- content for one platform. Mm-hmm. Did you look at the number? I got that number. What is it? So first off, in- Instagram comes in at 1.3 billion active users. Okay. Next up is Facebook at 1.3, and then TikTok comes in at 1 billion right now. Active so users the third today. most active 
user platform, mm -hmm. TikTok, mm -hmm. one billion people. Why are you not trying to get yourself out in front of those people as far as marketing your product, marketing your service, grow on a platform that's actually still growing? Because you all know, I know I'm talking to everyone, you guys know your, your Instagram's not doing shit. It's like pulling teeth. Mm -hmm. It almost makes you want to quit, but we're not quitters. We keep up, we got to stay consistent, but it sucks. I know me and Donnie, we put a lot of effort in our content. He makes heat. And we put out something, we're like, this thing's going to fucking kill it. And it gets like 24 likes and 10 views. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> That's a shitty feeling. We're, we feel that all the time, mm -hmm. yet we still, go, we still keep going. And I know you guys feel it too. I'm telling you, TikTok. Go in on TikTok. <laughs> because you almost get out what you put in. TikTok, you make the right kind of content and you get results from it. I mean, I've gone from like, since Donnie and I started, I went from 2,000 followers and I'm at like 60K. I have videos, almost every video I post gets 5,000 to 15,000 views, a lot 50,000 views. I have videos on there, 600, 800,000 views. And, and it's crazy. And here's the thing, it's funny. It's definitely a different platform. Donnie has me doing some weird ass shit because here's the thing. You guys see me doing this shit? That's not who I am. Like, it's part of who I am. But at my core, and I'm not talking to this, this is going to be the main focus of the podcast, like me hopping out the car, walking him and making me look all fucking magical and shit. <laughs> that's uncomfortable as fuck for me. That's the I mean, I need to be clear to you guys. You guys see me posting up videos like, oh, this guy thinks all of himself. Like, no, I'm like, fuck, uncomfortable. <laughs> like, I'm like, Donnie, he knows, he videotapes me. But like, yep. the thing is, it works though. You have to do what works. You have to be uncomfortable. I talk about it all the time. Be uncomfortable and do the work and you're gonna get the results. I could just say, fuck it, here's the thing. I could, there's many things like I wanna talk about on this podcast. You gotta be uncomfortable. You gotta always evolve. You can't give a fuck what people think. And that's, that's the main thing that you guys are worried about. Me at my core, I've talked to you guys about my, my story. You know, you guys see me now, I can, I can do one or two takes. I'm very comfortable at selfie videos. Donnie knows, he videotapes me. I bang shit out quickly. It's very easy for me. Some people take a whole day to record shit that takes me 30 minutes. It's, I'm comfortable and it, you know, I have a speaking engagement in Utah in three weeks. I'm finally start to speak and do stuff that I wanna do, live events and stuff like that. It's what I'm going for to inspire and motivate and share my story and help other people grow on a live stage as opposed to just a podcast everywhere I can. That shit's uncomfortable for me. It's it's easier now and you guys see me now and you guys like, look at this guy. I'm confident I do it. Yes, I am. I'm very confident in my abilities, but there's been so many years of growth for me to get there. So me as a kid, going to my backstory a little bit, I was very shy. I'm an introvert. I didn't have a girlfriend till I was 18 years old. Like, I, I didn't do that. Like, like through high school, all that kind of stuff, I was very shy, very introverted, very quiet. Opposite of who you see now. That's not fake. This is not fake who I am now. This is who I am. I evolved and I changed and I grew. And that's, if you wanna be successful, that's what you have to do. You can't stay in the same place and, and, and expect anything different to happen, right? doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result is insanity. So I knew that for me to live the kind of life I have, to get the kind of things I want, you have to have a personality. You have to get out there. You can't be an introvert sitting in a corner and and just the life of your dreams comes to you. I, I'm not talking bad on introverts because that's who I am at my core, but I'm telling you guys, you have to go for what you want. You have to speak up. You have to. Closed mouths don't get fed. I say it all the time. Like, I had to work to be who you see now. But I'm just telling you guys, that's not me at my core. So a lot of you guys listen, they're maybe introverts. A lot of you guys that see me that say, I wish I could be like that. I get those messages all the time. I wish I could make videos like that. I wish I could talk like you. Well, dude, that's how I used to be. I just worked for many years to get to where I'm at. Like with anything I talk about, you gotta put the work in. And that's something else that takes work. Some people are naturally... You know, mm -hmm. more outgoing, and some people aren't. You know, and there's pluses and minuses of both. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. But like I said, that was something I knew that like in this industry and in life, what I typically saw for people that are typically doing what I'm doing is 
you have to be outgoing. You have to speak. You can't you can't be you know quiet about what you're doing. And that's what I decided to do. And the problem is a lot of you guys are worried about what people think because the process of going from there to here can be a long process. And there's also a lot of learning. You know, the, the videos are going to suck. The podcasts are going to suck. The pictures are going to suck. It's going to be uncomfortable. Who cares? Who cares? Right, Donnie? All right. Who gives a fuck? Like, so many of you are worried about what people think. Like, stop worrying about what they think. You guys will attract people that you want in your life and the people that are going to talk shit or have their two cents or, or or criticize or nitpick everything you do those aren't the kind of fucking people you want to be around anyways so who cares do you figure out your goal figure out what you want to get figure out how you got to get there but i promise you with today's day and age and social media and everything Getting in front of a large audience, you have to speak. You have to be in front of the camera. You can't post once every five months. Mm -hmm. You can't, you know, and and that's the reality of the day and age we are. Now, there are businesses that you don't have to do that. So if that's just not you, and I'm not saying you have to do that. You don't have to switch from an introvert to be someone more outgoing. But I'm saying if you're in the kind of industry that would benefit from that, which are a lot of them, you have to look deep inside yourself and figure out how do I go from there to there. And it's possible because I've done it. I'm here telling you, being real with you. This person I am now has been a growth of fucking 30 years, you know? And like I said, when you see these videos that we're making, and these are the kind of videos, we're making these kind of videos. Some people may go, oh, you're flexing. Oh, who do you think you are? I know who the fuck I am. The people that are close to me around here know the fuck who I am. I'm very down to earth. I'm the same motherfucker I was when I had nothing. I don't have to tell you guys because anyone that hangs out with me knows that's who I am because that's how I come off and that's genuinely who I am. Yeah, those videos may come off like that and I don't really care what people think because the people that I don't know and the people that are going to think that, some people are going to be inspired by it, you know, that when you post nice things or when you have videos like with cars and stuff like that, whatever the case may be, people are going to get inspired, some people. A lot of people are going to hate. I don't really care either way. Like I said, I'm just trying to attract people that are going to be inspired by it. People are going to hate. They're going to be hating and they're going to never get to their goals. You're never going to get to your goals hating on that. That's why I want, that's what I say. I want you guys all to win. It fires me up to see my people win, to see people will do better than me. Like in these entrepreneur networks I'm in, we all want each other to win. I love seeing these motherfuckers ki kill it. It fucking inspires me. Like, pff, I got to work harder. I got to work smarter. Right? Like, I, it fires me the fuck up to go harder and, and achieve higher levels. But like I said, when you see these videos and this different type of content, and it's been last three months since Donnie came here. Um, not only is he amazing at what he does, we have amazing quality equipment that shows shit off. But like, just for the record, like I told you guys, that shit is not comfortable for me. Like, I'm not like, hey, look at me. Like, that's not me at all. Yes, I'm definitely proud of what I've earned and every single thing you see I've earned and you guys know my story and I have a lot of pride in it. Never be embarrassed of your wins. Never be embarrassed of what you've worked to achieve. And that's one thing that a lot of people talk to me about. They're scared to show off their watch. They're scared to show off their car. They're scared to show their wins. And I fucking hate that about the society that everybody is scared to show what they've earned because of what other people will think of them. You guys know I overcame that shit a long time ago. And I empower you to do the same. Because when you earn something and you have something as a goal and a dream and you get there, you know that feeling. And there's never should be a shame tied to that. There never should be an embarrassment tied to that. Because like I said, you post that, you're going to attract the right kind of people. You're going to see the likes and the comments from the people on that post or whatever it is. They're people that want you to see you win. The people that are crickets, and they may be the people closest to you. Unfortunately, that's the way shit goes sometimes. Crickets. Or you hear people talking, you hear little whispers and shit like that. I hear shit all the time. I don't care. I keep moving forward. It makes me want to win harder. You didn't like that? You better wait to see what's coming. Like, you know what I mean? So please share your wins. I want to see them. Please tag me in them. And, and, you know, don't ever shy away from that. But like I'm saying, this new platform and these videos, you have to evolve. And that's what we're doing. And like it's uncomfortable for me, but it's also kind of fun. And the shit you see, like literally we shoot it in 10 minutes. Donnie edits it in 20, 30 minutes. It's like 
you know, I have so much shit on my plate, but you guys don't realize like, yeah, it takes time, but it's not like we spend hours and hours of our day doing this. Like, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to be like, this is like motherfucking Donnie is a man. Like this setup <laughs> we have and this shit, this is like, they should make commercials out of this shit. You know what I mean? Like, but it doesn't, it, my point is it doesn't have to be that quality. Like back in the day when I started this, it wasn't to that same thing. I use a shitty iPhone. The most important thing is you you do what you can with what you have. I'll say it again. You do the most you can with what you have at the time. Maximize effort, maximize what's in front of you. A lot, a lot of people make excuses of what they don't have. And that's the reason why they don't do. And that's fucking bullshit. Doing is always better than not doing. Don't make up excuse of why you don't want to do it because your equipment isn't the same. The quality isn't the same. That's bullshit. That's a fucking excuse that you're selling yourself. All you guys want to make up excuses. And here's the thing. As a leader, as a person, every, every single thing that happens in your life, in your business, is on you. It's on you. All you guys want to make up excuses why you aren't where you want to be in life, why you're not reaching your goals. You want to put everybody wants to make a fucking excuse for everything. I'm like, just shut the fuck up. I'm tired of excuses. And that's one thing we, we learn around here. And I, I'm teaching my staff around here, my family, my staff, here's my family. I love these motherfuckers. I do. And I want them to reach all their dreams and goals. And I want them to grow and grow with me. I want us to build a big ass company and all drive up in our dream cars. Donnie's getting a Tesla. Like, that's what I feel in my soul. My main goal is to them reach their goals. I don't give a fuck if I don't make a cent more. If I can grow a company where I can pay them all double, that's what is firing me up nowadays. And I've told you guys that before. I'll just fucking remind you. But the thing is, I empower them too. One of our, you know, one of our main core values is like, take responsibility, accountability. Like you fuck up, like there's no excuses. Like, I don't want to hear excuse. You're late. Something happened. You missed something, whatever. Like, and then human nature, you always hear it. You go for excuse. You, you make excuse. It's, it's like a natural reaction because it's a comfort. Like the reason why it happened was this. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like Donnie and I have been there. Mm -hmm. You're late because you're playing with the dog. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like leave five minutes earlier. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's part of growth. And, and as a leader, if your staff, your employees, like don't point fingers at them while your company is failing. Don't point fingers at them because here it's on yourself as a leader to teach them, to hold them accountable and to keep the expectations high and, and keep holding them accountable. If they're not doing what you expect, it's your fault for letting them not. So don't blame them for something bad happening in your company. As a leader, everything sits on your shoulders. You take accountability for it. You don't make an excuse. Oh, this employee is always late. This employee isn't doing what expected. Well, you're the fucking leader. So they're not doing that because you're not leading them right. That's it. Same thing with relationships. Same thing with fitness. Everything. Just stop making fucking excuses because I'm tired of the excuses. So many people do it. Look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself if you're doing everything you can to get to where you want to be in business, in fitness, in your life and relationships, all the, all the different areas. And even a high level person like myself, I'm better than 95% out there, but I'll be real. Cause I I'm always real and candid. And I keep it real with you guys. Uh, there's probably areas that I could get better in too. Like I said, I, I'm at the top of the chart, but being real, there's things I can do too, a little better, but you know, we all can be better in every area. No one's perfect, but please guys, like I said, to wrap up this podcast, look into new, new areas to evolve in. If you're not where you want to be, you can get there, but it takes work. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to have to do it. You have to do it. I just told you guys how much I've changed and I'm going to, five years, I'm going to be even different. I'm always trying to evolve and level up and be better. You guys should want to be better. Why are you okay being just stagnant? TikTok. Make content on TikTok. Post every day. Figure out what your niche is. Figure out what you're going for and go at that angle. 
And also look at other people, what they're doing, maybe in your industry, look at what they're doing and do something similar but different because you have to stand out. I think me and D, we figured out our angle on TikTok. It's been working. Mm -hmm. I'm growing like crazy. It's working good. Um, yeah. And like I said, I don't know what the fuck I said, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking FedEx just walked in. No, but to your point, I think yeah, we've, what really, do you have? I think yeah, we've I, really found our niche. And now that we're seeing some real growth, it's not so much about reinventing the wheel as much as, much as it is just keep making what's already working. Like you make a viral video, don't think, okay, now what can we do? No, just do the same thing. Hold Keep on, hold on. It. You guys hear what Donnie just said? <laughs> if you're doing something that's working, why change it? Don't reinvent the wheel. And that's with everything in life. Everything in life. Think about it. Business, fitness. If it's working, why are you going to change it? Everybody always trying to change shit and like, oh, if I do this, it'll be better. If I do this, it'll be better. And then actually the opposite thing happens. Consistency, doing the right things. If you're getting the result you want, be consistent as fuck with it until the results slow down. Then you got to look at it and say, okay, what do I need to change here or there? But if everything's going good, why are you trying to change it up? Right? But yeah, that TikTok, Donnie, like I said, um, I appreciate you, man, because I, like I said, I was trying it before you got here, um, and I don't know even how to remember how that came together. You're just like, hey, hop out of a car and take your glasses off and look like a G, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I can try that, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I tried it, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, right. Yeah, that one was like the one that started it all with the the take me to church song. Yeah, getting out of the car. It was five o'clock after yeah. the work day i was basically like <laughs> last minute hey yeah. hop out of your car take your glasses off yeah. look all like a badass yeah put it together in 10 minutes i was yeah. like all right this one's gonna be it and, and here's the thing guys i posted it once and it flopped Ooh, i post yep. listen guys this is another person this is why i told yeah. you to start talking baby because you're gonna yeah. pull shit out this is important this is important i posted that that my, my well not my highest video now but one of my highest mm -hmm. i posted it once and it flopped and that's where a lot of you would have said, oh, well, fuck this. I quit this. Or this ain't working. I said, no, fuck that. This video is too good. There's no way this shit's flopping. I deleted it and I reposted another day. And the video that flopped did 700,000, 600,000 views. So don't quit. With TikTok, there's multiple times I delete videos and repost them because it's such a volatile platform. And I know that it has the chance to go that you, if you know something's good and it's the kind of content you want to put out there, delete it and repost it. Don't do that to Instagram because Instagram <laughs> sucks regardless yep. nowadays. Yep. But Instagram back in the day, I would say probably about four or five years ago, used to be similar to that. Um, and I wish I would have had content like I do now to do that with Instagram back in the day before I killed my before I killed my page mm -hmm. with talking about America and and rights and stuff like that. <laughs> regardless, we're not. Gonna, I don't. I just gotta say it every time because it fucking bugs me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what else you got to say, Donnie? I like you adding some value because, yeah. like I said, you, you just, I told you like <laughs> a little little mouse over there. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just I'm loving it. You know, I think you're what we've been doing the last few months with TikTok is is key and just adapting and, and and staying on the trends. I'm looking at some more statistics here. In 2017, TikTok only had 65 million users. Dang. 2018, 100 million. 2019, 380 million. 2020 700 million so the exponential growth is ridiculous in four years it's gone from 60 million to 1.2 billion dang and like i said i know it's a younger platform i know if you're listening to this you know you may be a little older i mean i'm gonna be 40 this year and i'm I, here's the thing i've already seen a direct result of increased business from my tiktok as far as these people are going to the site, they're shopping, they're listening to the podcast. All my channels are leveling up because of TikTok. I literally went from zero to 60,000 followers in three months. There's no other platform you can do that right now on. So if you wanna grow, if you wanna build something online, go to TikTok, go all in, shit's gonna flop, don't get discouraged, repost it, keep going, right? Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I don't got much more to say. Do you, Donnie? No, I think you <laughs> outlined the formula. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Please share this shit. We'll be back next Monday. We're out. Pull up in motor cash. I got a show today. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate. 
Choppers are th-